old Chicago man is recovering after fending off two intruders who forced their way inside his home. The victim took matters into his own hands, opening fire on the pair. An elderly man, aged 80, opened fire on one of the intruders who had forced their way into his home during a home invasion that took place close to O'Hare International Airport. Before he was able to stand his ground and defend himself, police say this 80-year-old homeowner was brutally beaten by his intruders. Tonight, he is listed in critical condition. Now, Two suspects have been charged in connection with the incident, which resulted in the shooting death of one of the intruders. The homeowner fired at the intruder, resulting in the invader's death. It all started at 10.30 this morning, that's when the two suspects identified as a man and a woman knocked on the victim's front door at this apartment complex at West Catherine Avenue near O'Hare. When the 80-year-old opened the front door, the pair forced their way inside. That's when police say there was a physical altercation. The homeowner, who is a Floyd card holder, at some point pulled out his gun and shot at the suspects, hitting the man in the chest. The suspects then fled the scene, driving themselves to nearby Resurrection Hospital. The male suspect is listed in critical condition, while the female suspect was not injured. Both are in custody. On Monday, the authorities are said to have taken into custody a man and a woman who were located in the 7400 block of West Talcott. This event occurred in the 8500 block of West Catherine less than an hour after they were reported to have been broken into a house there. According to a statement issued by the police following the occurrence, the perpetrators of the crime attacked a man who was 80 years old while they were inside the residence, causing him to sustain significant injuries. Many were surprised at the fact that an 80-year-old Chicago man shoots home intruders thanks to Supreme Court lifting the handgun ban. Now, many here in the neighborhood described this 80-year-old man as a friendly, quiet, reserved, and he also said he lived by himself, which is one of the reasons they believe he was targeted. During the conflict, the authorities said that an 80-year-old man who possessed a FOID card and opened fire with one of his bullets penetrated the chest of a male intruder. After that, the injured man and woman walked into the local hospital, and the police alleged that they were swiftly taken into custody and then charged with a crime once they arrived there. According to the complaint filed by the police, the property owner was battered and sustained several injuries throughout the body. When he got to the hospital, his condition was extremely critical and life-threatening. Mansfield Wallace, age 51, of Evanston, was charged with felony home invasion, causing injury, aggravated battery on a person over the age of 60, and aggravated violence inflicting grievous bodily harm. These charges were brought against Mansfield Wallace in connection with an incident that took place on April 1st. There is a maximum term of three years in jail that can be given for each of these three offenses. Tabitha Hemphill, age 31, of Chicago, has been charged with the felony count of home invasion for causing severe bodily injury. She's accused of injuring her victim throughout the course of the incident. The elderly guy, who is 80 years old and resided in Chicago, fired many shots while defending his home from two invaders. He died as a result of his injuries. His situation is really critical at this time. The man opened his door when there was a knock at it, which ultimately resulted in the entry of two individuals inside his flat, which is when this incident took place. During the struggle, the guy was able to fire his handgun, which resulted in one of the intruders receiving a wound that was potentially fatal. According to the reports from the Chicago Police Department, in addition to getting a multitude of injuries, the old gentleman was also beaten throughout the event. He was given medical care at Resurrection Hospital after being transported there in an ambulance. NBC5 has shown beyond a reasonable doubt that the elderly gentleman, who is 80 years old, is a lawful firearm owner and possesses a valid firearm owner's identification card. However, the pistol isn't the only thing that counts when it comes to self-defense. You also need to make sure that you have proper training and that you're adequately prepared. According to the police, a man who is 80 years old received significant injuries after fending off his attackers during a home invasion on Chicago's northwest side. The guy had fought back against his attackers. Both of the suspects are currently being detained at a correctional facility by the authorities. This doesn't happen here. Boris Dokjevic, who, together with his family, manages a building across the street, characterized his incident as a pretty rare event. The event occurred on the 8500 block of West Catherine in the O'Hare neighborhood of Chicago at around 10.30 in the morning, as stated by detectives who looked into the matter. Stokjevic added that they were actively checking to see if all the doors were closed, and they were also contacting their tenants to ensure that they didn't let anyone into the building that they were not expecting to see. It is believed that the father, who was 80 years old at the time, was present inside of a home on the block when a man and woman, who were suspected of breaking into the home, knocked on the door. The suspects entered the home without knocking or asking for permission as soon as he opened the door, and a fight broke out not long after that. The elderly man, who was in possession of a FOID card, is said to have fired a shot at the suspects, with his bullet injuring one of the suspects in the chest. This is according to the police. There were no reported injuries associated with the woman. 
One woman who lives on the block who did not want to show her face out of fear for her safety said she is heartbroken for her neighbor. I was in shock when I heard it because, you know, it's like in the middle of the day in the morning and something like that happens like close to your home. It's really scary to hear. The suspects drove to Resurrection Hospital where the victim is also being treated. One lady who lives on the street but did not want to expose her face because she feared for the safety emphasized how heartbroken she is for her neighbor, who she couldn't name. This woman didn't want to divulge her identity because she feared for her safety. She added that she was taken aback when she first learned of it because she was just in the middle of the day or in the morning. To learn of something of that type happening so close to one's house is a very uncomfortable thing to discover. She stated that she was surprised when she first learned of it because, again, middle of the day or okay, morning, <laughs> whatever. The suspects proceeded to Resurrection Hospital, which is also the location of the victim's ongoing medical care, and the hospital was their destination. The man, who is 80 years old, and the suspected invader, who the man shot, are both in extremely bad condition at the hospital. In the end, the two suspects who are suspected of injuring an elderly man during a home invasion on the far northwest side made their first appearance in court. Mansfield Wallace, who is 51 years old, is being charged with one count of house invasion and two counts of severe assault. He's accused of committing these offenses. Tabitha Hemphill, age 31, is accused of committing the crime of home invasion and is currently facing one count of that charge. It was ruled by the judge presiding over the bond hearing that took place on Thursday afternoon that Wallace's bail should be set at the sum of $500,000, while Hemphill should be kept without bail because she was on probation at the time of the alleged violation. The session took place in the courtroom. Following the event, the victim had many wounds and was taken to, by ambulance to Resurrection Hospital for treatment. As of Monday, the victim's condition was regarded as being one of the gravest possible outcomes. It was alleged that the authorities found the handgun that belonged to the victim below the driver's seat of the Hyundai in which they were riding. Many people who live in the vicinity were shaken up after the occurrence, but they were relieved to find that the victim was able to protect himself. When speaking with CBS2, one of the ladies wanted to protect her privacy so that she could remain anonymous kindly subscribe for more news and up-to-date content. She communicated her compassion for him and his family by stating that she was truly grieving for him and his family since he was at home alone and it must have been really afraid when it happened. This was her way of showing that she felt sorry for him and his family. Because it's difficult to know in advance whether or not someone will come in to aid you in time, the scenario may have gone very differently. This is due to the fact that they can't foresee whether or not someone's going to arrive in time to assist them, and that is terrifying. Kenny Viernusel, another local neighbor who resides in the vicinity, expressed that he was happy that the individual stood up for themselves and won the argument. In the event that someone was to break into his apartment, he plans to react in the same manner as before. The victim received compliments from a number of members in the community who described her as being polite, quiet, and reserved. Check out this video to find out this interesting incident.